uh, on this old ass XP machine. Amy Rard and Gina Lynn XXX. Oh, sexy cops? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> It's Timmy Timmy Jizzo with another video with a computer. So, what's up? This isn't a gaming computer. This is going to be a PC troubleshooting video. And uh, this old um, Cooler Master? Uh, yeah, Cooler Master case houses a computer that I only built a couple of years ago, maybe two, two and a half years ago, uh, for a client of mine who is a graphic designer. He always put the decals on different things and stuff like that. He bought a business from a guy who had been doing it since the 90s and he had like a plotter from like 2004, the thing that cuts out and you know puts color on vinyl and stuff like that. Uh, and he was using the computer from that era and it died. And this plotter, number one, runs off of parallel ports, no, COM ports and parallel ports which you, you know, see here. And then uh, it also needs Windows XP because the software doesn't work with anything newer than Windows XP. He was working with a really old P4. The system was grenaded when uh, he brought it to me. It wouldn't turn on anymore. And here we are, uh, you know, cause you have to use older hardware a couple years later and the computer I built him no longer posts. <laughs> There we go. So, uh, yeah, it's not turning on. It smells like cigarettes too. Uh, it's not turning on. He blew it out, which is nice, so it's not totally dirty. What this computer is, no beeps, no nothing. Uh, I was surprised. I thought it probably had a quad core, like a, a core two quad, like a 6600 in it or something like that. I forgot I put an AMD uh, in this system. And I believe this motherboard, it's an M4, a79 Deluxe. It's a Phenom 2. A Phenom 2. This CPU is an AMD Phenom 2 X4 940 Black Edition. It's a quad core Phenom, not bad. And then we have some RAM in here. And I'm not even sure if that's put in the right way or if I put that in that way. Is this even DDR3? Hmm, I think the power supply is good too. I put a brand new 500 watt power supply in it. All right, so there is a speaker hooked up to this, but just to make sure, I'm gonna hook up my own. No beeping from the motherboard is a bad sign. Usually means either the CPU's dead or the motherboard's dead. I wanna try a new CPU. There's a two core Phenom. Okay, so I found another quad core Phenom. CPU changed, power button falling off. I think the motherboard is going to be the, the problem. It's DDR2 RAM. That's interesting. It's DDR2 memory. There we go. Well, that fits. Oh, snap. Still don't have post though. See? Beep? Where's my display output? Beep? Another beep. Two beeps. But no display output. Quadro. Different video card now. Which I, I don't get. Beep? We got a we got a post screen. All right, so we got a post screen. It was the RAM. It seems like that's odd. Usually there is a beep when you have some RAM, but this is very old hardware. It's from like 2008 or before uh, DDR2 memory, after all. So I don't really want to give up my eight gigs of DDR2 memory, but it has been a dang long time. I had some nice G skill stuff here. I do have uh, this stuff too. <laughs> Maybe I'll just put that in there. One eternity later. Ah, oh, I love computers. Oh, there's another one. So, 
I tried this ATI card and it works just fine, but uh, it's a 6450 Dell something something. God, I hope this works. And uh, I went to load the driver, and when you load the driver, there's a stop error, and it just keeps using the basic display driver. Uh, not sure if the card's broken or if something, I don't know, XP, wrong driver. So I was like, well, I'll put another Quadro in it. I found this Quadro. It's an FX1800. Two display ports and a DVI. That's, that's good enough. He had a display port and a DVI before. This won't post with display port. I don't understand. It's like the dis just my monitor won't sync with DisplayPort on this computer or all of them are broken. I'm not sure. Oof. Um, but then, so, I don't know. Long story short, Quadro, Quadro. Maybe they're working, maybe they're not. But uh, I don't have a way to test the DVI on a video card right now without setting up like... I'd have to go home and get a different monitor. Uh, I have like four or five different DVI monitors in my um, in my attic. Anyway, so this is working and I put the 610 in it because it works over HDMI and a driver just loaded as well. Freaking hell. I still have this hardware wizard popping up for, for something. Might be the sound on this thing or something? I don't know. I'm going to get it figured out. Uh, uh, high, yeah, high definition audio bus. Why the sound's missing? I don't know. I'm sure the sound worked before. But in the end, uh, I have it up and running, XP. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing back together. I put two different sticks of RAM and a different video card in it, and that seemed to be the issue uh, on this old ass XP machine. Amy Rard and Gina Lynn XXX. Amy Reed and Gina Lynn. Let's see what that, what that is. Oh no. <laughs> turn it off, turn it off. I, I swear to God, I'm trying to turn it off. Ah. All right, so in the end, we got this computer all nice and fixed up. Ooh yeah, it's got two COM ports, parallel port on the back of it. It's an old school computer, that is for sure IDE. But uh, sometimes you just gotta make old hardware work because he's got a, a printing business, a, a decal business, he has plotters, he has all this old equipment and if it's, not, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it in his head. But uh, I am gonna be recommending that he uh, starts looking for some up-to-date plotting equipment so that he can get a better computer because there's gonna come a time when this stops working to his desired effect. I'm surprised it hasn't happened yet. So I'm at Watch Timmy Joe on Instagram and Twitter. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day and I'm Audi 5000. I fixed another computer and uh, it's, it's time to go home, guys. Time to go home. Turn off XP, shut down Windows XP, and I'm Timmy Joe. Have another day. Have a, have a good day, I don't know. Okay, whatever.